it's still not sticking at the very freaking. Oh, hey guys, Madison here. Hi guys, Madison here for today's video. Um, it kind of just is a spur of the moment thing. Um, I'd gotten some kiss lashes and. They're the magnetic kind. I've already like taken them out and the reason why is because I spent literally the whole day trying to work magnetic lashes and them just not working. So I thought I would try again, do it on camera, see if I can actually make them work, give like a real review of these kiss lashes. And these aren't very dramatic lashes. They're very, you know, supposed to be natural looking. And yeah, so I just thought, you know, let's make a video out of it. Something quick, simple little kiss lashes magnetic review so the magnetic lash trend and i say trend even though it's still kind of going because they're still making magnetic lashes but it kind of like popped up a couple years ago and nobody really took to it and the reason why is because it's just it's weird we don't know what could happen could it tear out lashes what can make them unstuck what's the best method of sticking them together. It's a very, very confusing method of applying lashes, though I do understand why people would want this because some people are allergic to the glue, like just regular lash glue. Sometimes it irritates eyes and this is supposed to help it not do that. And even for myself, I've done makeup the past two days, like full glam the past two days and just like beat my face to death. And when I do that and I do it to the extreme like I've been doing, my eyes start watering like I don't know if I get stuff in them just if I if I wear lashes for too long I don't know what's the real cause of my eyes getting so irritated and I really notice around this time of the year because it's like spring-ish and there's pollen and my eyes do start watering around pollen so with that being said um, this could be a great alternative for some people, including myself. Like if there was a way to just do my eyelashes really fast, that would probably be all I do in a day. Cause I don't, I don't care that much when I'm at school, especially if like my only class is ceramics because nobody's going to see me. So that being said, a simple way to do a quick makeup look would be ideal. Two methods of applying magnetic lashes that I have seen are the ones that I, I have here, the magnetic little strips on it that connect both sides and that's it i've also seen where it's like a magnetic adhesive where it's just like you apply it like you would your eyelash glue and then you stick it on and it works but again i don't have that to test both of them so i'm just going to test one today and i'm just going to take everything out and so what this comes with is it's a little applicator and it has the magnets and stuff on it and honestly, in my opinion, this is kind of thick. Like, I don't use actual lash applicators anyway. I go in with my hand, and that just makes it easier for me to just apply lashes with my hands and get as close as possible. But this has an applicator, and we're going to use it because it just would seem silly not to. But other than that, it comes with a top lash that is, like I said, it's a very natural type lash, and it comes with a bottom lash, but not exactly... This is the bottom and it's very very like tiny and this is to make them thick so we'll end up looking sort of like this and that just kind of looks like a weird natural eyelash look so it's not like one is on the top portion of my eye and this one's going on the bottom these are going to basically just layer up if that makes sense and if you can look closely you see just the little magnetic strips and what kind of worries me about this is if I do get it on what if an eyelash is trapped between these and then will it hurt me? Will it trap my lashes? I just don't know and that kind of scares me, especially it's going to be so close to my eye. What if it catches skin? That type of stuff. Either way, I'm going to, which way is this lash for? Okay, so this is for this eye. Um, I'm going to set this up like normal. I think I'm going to try and do the top lash first or add on the top lash first. It's very tricky to get it in the little circle. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. So the first lash is on. And I did watch some videos because it was driving me crazy why I couldn't get this to look right. And I saw some helpful ones and then I saw some ones that were just kind of confusing. But a lot of the ones I saw, the little applicator was a lot thinner. 
So it's kind of weird to me that it's not, but I'm gonna get really close to it and then go up and then let it click together and nope, it didn't work. So here we go again. And an important thing is to make sure they're both lashes are going the same direction, you see? So whenever you pinch down, it should be accurate. And I don't wanna go too far in and pinch my eye off and no, I don't, like, is the magnet too freaking strong on the applicator? Because it's sticking to the applicator and not just to each other. And it's driving me crazy. Time's the charm. We're going to try it one more time. I'm trying to get my eye in there. Pinch down. All of it's can... Didn't, didn't even connect. I keep looking to see if it's not lined up perfectly. And they are, so I don't understand. And they're still connecting one to the other. So it's like... Okay, maybe... Okay, so that actually hurt my eye. Okay, one one more time. Okay, okay. Ow, that hurt, and it looks like crap. I had to like pry it away from the applicator. I'm torturing myself at this point. I feel like it's just not gonna work and I might just scrap this whole video. Okay, so we are in place, go up, let go, ow, 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 it hurt, it just, it's too strong on this applicator that it is pulling the eyelashes and that really hurt my eye. Up, I even got it to work once but the fact that it only worked once is crazy. There's no need for it to only work once and then never again. Maybe the magnet sucks. Maybe the magnet's too strong in this stupid applicator that it's just not wanting to let go. Either way, I'm getting furious. Let's try it one more time. Go up, pinch. If I can get it to let go of the dang applicator, but it won't do that. See, that looks, this is probably the, the best that it's looked. And even then, like, like it's not staying on. I don't, I don't understand. Like, it's a good idea, it's a good concept. Why, and maybe the, the one that has the actual, like, magnet in the lash ad adhesive might work better than this. Cause this, this is stupid, like, this doesn't make sense. I was going to put them on, do a, like, how they look by themselves, if it would be a cool way to, like, just have a natural lash. And then I was gonna do makeup and, try to you know see how they looked if they blended with like eyeliner and stuff on or what they look like and they're just a natural lash and they're supposed to be cute it was supposed to be a fun video but um i hate this i hate it i hate it with a passion i got them do they look the same no and i don't like understand like i'm trying to try to position the way i have the other one no, it's, it's not the same. I don't know. Maybe one's is better than the other. I don't understand. And I'm definitely just hating it. Like, eh. Kind of similar now. I don't know. I don't know. I can't make them work. And I don't think they do work. I think they're kind of terrible. Like, one eye looks fine. I just... It took me over an hour to do this, I'm going to be honest. It took way too long. I could have already had lashes on, five seconds, lash glue, lashes on, bip, bam, boom, I would have been done. This is tragic. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And another thing, another complaint about this, they have little magnets and stuff in them, and that's what connects. Look about like that, it's really small, and it just looks like a black speck. But because they're not really put together that well they come off and while I was putting it on I don't know if maybe magnets on one side are way too strong but it ripped it off twice and I look ridiculous oh my goodness I hate this I have never hated a product more than these magnetic lashes like do do better I mean they're obviously not even in the like the same style because you have one that looks really good and I haven't done 
anything to my eyelashes, to my lashes whatsoever. There's no mascara already on. There's nothing. Like, I was so prepared to do a legit video, but now this has turned into a big rant on how much I hate these. Like, this is tragic, and I'm trying to, like, see if maybe it's just the way I have them positioned. Maybe if I, like, agitate them and stuff, but I'm too scared to really touch them because they're going to come off. Like, and I will give them that. Ow, never mind. I was going to say, I will give them the fact that, you know, they don't hurt when they come off, but it just pulled my eyelash. But yeah, this one was fine. It didn't hurt when it came off. But that pulled an eyelash. I'm guessing an eyelash got stuck between them. Now my eyes watering, so this did a lot more damage than it did good. And I'm just sad. I did get these a while back. These aren't the new ones that got released, because they're still making these. There's a new set that got released. These are just from a while back. And I never really used them, because I never really had the time, so going through all this quarantine mess, I have time to finally try different products. And this is, this is trash. The applicator is too thick, it's too strong, that it won't let go of the product whenever you apply it together. Because how it should be is that, and now all four of them are stuck together and that looks like a legit, you know, thick lash. But how it should be is you have, you know, magnets on both sides of this applicator. And whenever you push it together to make this lash, this should be the strongest thing to where it doesn't try to pop back up to the applicator or it doesn't get stuck to the applicator. That would be nice. I'm just, I'm ranting and I'm angry because I've just been digging in my eyes. I ran my camera battery down. I didn't have the good video that I was wanting. And I'm just, I'm angry. Like this is the worst product that you could buy is these little lash kits. And like I said, this is the old one. This isn't, you know, I'll put like the new one right here so like y'all know what I'm talking about. It's not that one. I've never tried that one. But unless they've updated it, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Because like I said, I could have already had lashes on. <sighs> My eyes hurt. I've been digging around with them and they probably are infected now. I'll keep you updated on that. But like, <sighs> it's tragic. And I have been watching videos on this because I was like, it... It's not just me, like it can't just be me being terrible at something because I'd, I'd admit if it was just me because I was like, you know, I wanted to try it again. I wanted to try and do this because, you know, magnetic lashes, they have some good properties of why you would want them. You'd have to, you wouldn't have to deal with like lash glue. You wouldn't have to deal with the black gunk or the white. And the only reason I have this right now is because I had to glue on the magnets back onto this thing. And it's not because I had to do that because they're still sticking together like these magnets are fine now that I like restuck them <sighs> I'm just I'm angry. There is It cost too much for it to be crap that I couldn't even wear once that I'm upset <laughs> my whole day's ruined and that's the video because I can't I can't do anymore I kept like trying and trying and trying to fix it, but I can't do anymore with it and oh, my eyes getting red. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just gonna hide it again. But um, yeah, I'm just disappointed. I'm upset. I was so ready to do like a fun video, but this just turned into why I hate magnetic lashes. That's the title, that's it. Bing, bang, boom. I'm done <laughs> because I, I physically cannot even deal with everything. It's This has been like a three hour video. It really has been. like. It's gonna like cut down to maybe 10 minutes, but it was a long video and I'm angry. Um, and I know you can't tell because laughter is the way I cope with things. I'm disappointed, I'm upset because I really like Kiss Lashes, but this was not it. This is garbage, I'm going to throw it away and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching even though this video, really all you can take away from it is if you get magnetic lashes, really be sure of your purchase beforehand or figure out if somebody even knows how to use them because I don't see many people using these not really any influencers or anything like that because honestly people don't trust them because they'll pull they they could pull out your eyelashes this is all allegedly I don't want anybody to try and come at me because I'm bad mouthing a product I'm just giving my criticism because my eye hurts now but as always thank you so much for watching um even whenever the products are bad, I still love doing these videos. And all my social media will be linked down below. Leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Friday, and I will see y'all next time.